In a recent interview on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, the star of WandaVision and one of the main stars of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Elizabeth Olsen, aka the Scarlet Witch herself, revealed that she very much believed that WandaVision would flop and that this would harm her career and her chances of returning in Doctor Strange 2. Man, it's almost like the internet is an echo chamber and like listening to it is uh, not going to serve you well. But hey, here we are. You guys probably remember back in the day when Disney announced, hey, you're going to have to watch WandaVision to know what's going on in the future. A lot of uh, think pieces about how this would never work, how Marvel was going to deliver the first flop. And when the details about the plot hit the internet, there was a lot of people upset because um, they just they wanted superhero go boom shoot things and they were getting a character study about Wanda. Well, she says that to her, she saw this as an opportunity to flex her muscle as an actress, but also to expand who Wanda is. But she was really worried that this would flop because of everything she was hearing. Like the fact that people aren't going to watch it because it's on TV or that they can't possibly deliver a film like quality that would ultimately harm the product and so forth. And she also reveals that when they announced all these series that they were worried that they were treating many of these characters like secondhand characters who could not stay on film. And that there was this feeling that this was just going to be a cheap cash grab. Ultimately, she says that obviously didn't turn out to be true, but the perspective was there. And it was the start of seeing Disney Plus shows and what they could do and how important they could be that her tone changed. But she says she was really worried that this was going to derail everything and that it could potentially ruin all of them. From her to Paul Bettany's chances to Anthony Mackie to Sebastian Stan. This was a big gamble and a big risk, but it paid off in the end. Which, again, yeah, you know, um, it was an uncertain time. Like, just imagine what they were selling and... Again, put yourself in the mindset of back then. And I know revisionist history will now tell you, well, of course, everybody knew it was going to be the most talked about show for 12 weeks or whatever. But go back to a year prior to that where the conversation was, this is the end because nobody's going to watch the show because it's going to be important and this and that. You know, tones change and perception changes. So you can see how a lot of people were worried. Is Disney Plus even going to have enough subscribers? Remember, they were only estimated to get like 25 million subs in the first year and a half. They blew that away in the first week. So there was all sorts of perception problems, which again, makes sense from their standpoint. 